Tennessee was 49-0 this season when leading after six innings. That was until today. I bring that set up because it will be important later on. First, Drew Gilbert back in the lineup after serving his one-game suspension. Freshman Roddy Chase Burns starting on the mound. Burns threw six and two-third innings, striking out five batters. He only gave up one run until the top of the seventh. I'm going to show you the good before the bad. Luke Lipsius right here torches his 40th home run of his career, taking sole possession of the program record. Love to see it for him. Balls up one to nothing after one. Bottom of the second game tied at one. Seth Stevenson drives a single into the left field corner, plating UT's second run. Bottom of the fifth, Stevenson having himself a day. He drives in his second run of the day. This one on a double, and UT leads three to one. Tennessee was in the driver's seat until the top of the seventh. Here's where that 49-0 stat I rattled off earlier comes into play. David Lamana goes oppo taco to tie it three all, and it's a new ball game. Very next batter, Jake Brannigan leaves the yard to silence Lindsey Nelson Stadium and give Notre Dame the lead for good. The wheels come off in the top of the eighth. Connor Putz cracks the double into the right center gap, scoring two runners, and Notre Dame goes on to upset Tennessee 7-3, ending their journey back to Omaha short.